Welcome to Rangers Live in the Fox Sports Southwest Studios. I'm Chelsea Kretz, and in Game 5 of their eight-game homestand, the Rangers walk away with the win tonight against the Chicago White Sox. There were some notable plays, so let's get straight to the action to see how it all went down. All-Star voting is now underway, so get your votes in. Josh Hamilton among the choices for today's player of the game. To start things out in the second, C.J. Wilson gets Carlos Quinton swinging. Wilson went tired, the first seven batters face. On to the bottom of the second for our Whataburger play of the day. Rangers jump on board thanks to the hot bat of Matt Trainer, who gets his first home run as he barely skins the 14-foot wall of the left field. What a way to merit himself as he was named starting catcher for the Rangers. Top three now. Wilson's still bringing the heat. Time stops for Juan Pierre as he watches the fastball zoom by. With two on and two outs in the bottom of the fourth, Trainer again at the plate. He's back for more as he'll launch a beauty over the head of Juan Pierre, who's had a real tough night tonight. This knocks in Hamilton and Guerrero for Trainer's first extra base hit of the season. Rangers are now up three to nothing. After working himself in a jam, CJ battles back from being down three balls and no strikes. Wilson fires the heater and gets Lucci whipping, helping CJ earn a quality start. In the bottom of the sixth, we go 3-2 as Rangers occupy the corners. Where there's smoke, there must be fire! Or maybe just a spark as he hits a sack fly to center field, running in Guerrero to make it 4-2 Rangers. Top eight we go as Nippert steps in for Wilson. He freezes both former Ranger Andrew Jones and ex-Blue Jay Alex Rios looking to close out the eighth. Closer Frankie Francisco steps up to end the night. He retires three socks straight, including this game-ending fly ball off Mark Kotze. Hamilton makes the perfect catch in the ninth inning, adding another win to the Rangers' win column. Final score, 4-2. Matt Trainer was outstanding tonight as he had his first home run of the season and went 2-for-3 three with three RBIs. Taking care of business as usual, Guerrero went 2-for-4 and two runs. For the White Sox, Burley gave up seven hits, Four errors, one walk, and two strikeouts. Wilson was strong and battled through his final two innings. This season, he has an ERA of 1.51, and in tonight's game, he had five strikeouts. He retired 11 of 13 Sox hitters and continues to show consistency in his pitching. Let's head to the locker room to see what CJ has to say about his performance tonight. Fourth quality start for you to start the season. Surprised a lot of people by even earning a spot in the rotation. Have you surprised yourself at all by the start you've gotten off to? Um, not really. I mean, I'm just trying to continue on with what I did in spring training and using each start to build into the other one. You know, tonight was a little rough. Just it's it's been the last two games. I've had some had some a little bit more difficulty than I wanted to. You know, obviously having uh, pretty heavy heavy workloads in the later innings of my starts, but. Um, you know, I just need to go longer than six innings. It's just, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. The Rangers take on the Chicago White Sox again tomorrow at 7.05 in Arlington, and we'll be here to give you all the coverage starting at 6.30. From Fox Sports Southwest Studios, I'm Chelsea Crutch. Thanks for watching and have a great night.